Hi. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm in a very weird mood right now. So, I know I haven't made a YouTube video in a very long time. I've just been catching up with my family recently and going out with my friends. Um, and just being, yeah, <laughs> just doing me. And I've been nagging at myself to make a YouTube video. And finally, I'm making a YouTube video because I found a topic that I thought really need, needed discussing, even though I've probably talked about this a few times in my videos. As you can see, I'm not in my room. I'm in my little brother's room. Uh, brothers as in two. Uh, and this is the room I like to call the room of stupidity. Because we got a bunch of naked girls all along the wall. And it's the dumbest thing ever. I mean, they're allowed to fantasize whatever they want to do, but, um, yeah. What really urged me to make this YouTube video was the fact that JC, Nash Greer, and Cameron Dallas decided to make a video called What Guys Look For in Girls. And I believe that just the title was dumb as fudge because... Your entire audience is young teenage girls, and the moment that video started, entertain me, don't be boring, entertain me. I just wanted to hurt them really bad. So this video is called, What Girls Look For In Guys. It's in quotation marks because it's such a general title. It's saying what girls look for in guys. This is a video about me, not about any other girl, just about myself and how I feel towards this topic. In this video, these three dumb teenage boys, one of them is not even a teenage, one of them is like 21 years old, they decided to not share their opinions, which opinions would be, I really like blue eyes and I really like tall girls. They were saying, you have to entertain us, don't be boring, don't be too loud, be in the middle. Don't wear a lot of makeup, but wear some makeup. Don't wear your hair straight all the time, but make sure you change it up. Put it in a braid, curl your hair. Don't be prude, I like the chase, but if you're too easy, you're a whore. If you play video games, you can't be better than me, even though I don't play video games. If we're with my friends, you need to be chill. But once those doors close, you need to be frisky and just hop on top of me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then they're like, wax, 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 shave, shave, shave. Don't have hair right here. I like freckles. I like it when girls are athletic. I like it when they can snowboard. I'm just like stupid, 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 stupid. All I hear is stupid. I don't think they've realized that what they are are doing is affecting so many young people. I am really, really ashamed of what these boys have put out there. And as a girl who really, really liked them, I, for a moment, felt like I'm not skinny enough. I'm tall. I like to play video games. I'm really loud. I have kind of a loud laugh. And what if I want to jump on you when we're hanging out with friends? What if I don't want to wait? What if I just want to pull you into the bathroom? Are you really slut-shaming girls? Why would you slut-shame girls? First of all, this entire video was just f dumb. It was just dumb. It was a dumb move. A lot of the fans have lost respect for these boys, and I hope they realize you just don't slut-shame girls. You don't expect from girls. As a girl, not girls. This video is only about me. What I look for in boys is three things. Number one, respect me. As long as you respect me and show me that you care and understand that I am a person and will not be pushed around and be told that I am lower than you because I am a female, that's good. I love respect. Respect as a person, not as a sexist toy something that you can just push around because I'm a girl, it's not gonna happen. Rule number two, respect my family. <laughs> because my family means a lot to me and without their respect and without your respect towards them, it wouldn't work. 
rule number three. Understand that when I put on my makeup, and when I curl my hair, and when I straighten my hair, and when I work out for two hours, and when I shave and wa shave, not, I don't wax, wax hurt, waxing hurts. And when I shave my legs and my arms, and when I go and buy clothes, understand that that is not for you. I am not dressing myself and feeding myself or not feeding myself to please you. It's to please myself because I am my own person. Once you understand that girls do not have to shape themselves into something that they are not just to please a boy, I don't even know if that came out right. But once, once guys start to understand that girls should not change just to fit their expectations of what their fantasy should look like, then I think that girls and guys will come to terms with the fact that you can't change yourself to be something that you're not. Do you understand what I'm saying? Girls should not have to wear a certain amount of makeup or wear certain types of clothes or play certain types of video games or listen to music or cook for you. We are not below men. We're not. We are women and we are human just as much as you are. And whenever I am told to change myself for a boy, it's not happening because I don't change myself. I don't change my morals. I don't change everything that I am about just to fit the criteria of these three dumb, idiotic boys. Whether you shave your legs or not, or if you wear makeup or not, or if you fill in your eyebrows or not, if you straighten your hair every day, or if you want to go get a perm, if you go to Nordstrom's and buy the most expensive stuff, or if you go to Goodwill and get sweaters and wear that and you're just fine. So be it. Be yourself. Don't change your, your appearance. Don't skip meals just to please boys. They're not worth it. Just be yourself and the right person will come along. It goes a long way to just respect yourself. Respecting yourself and understanding that you're just worth it. You're, you're just human. We all try really hard to fit in. And being told that we need to look a certain way just lowers our self-esteem even more. And I'm tired of seeing girls throw up and spend their last paycheck on makeup that they don't need if they don't need it. Some girls are comfortable doing things that other girls are not. Girls just, we're just beautiful the way we are. And if you can't accept us the way that we are, hit the road because I'm not putting up with your bullshit. We can't let boys shape us into something that we're not just so that we can be picked off like we're on the McDonald's menu. If you understand that girls, and especially me, can accept you for all of the hair on your body and the beer bellies that you have formed and the bald spots that you start to get, if you can understand that we will accept that, why can't you accept us the way we are? What makes us any different? Do you understand what you do to girls? Do you understand the pressure and all of the crap that you put us through to feel accepted? Well, as long as you understand that, then I'm sure everything will be fine. And I know not all guys are like those three boys that made that video. Not all girls like to be themselves. Some girls like to dress up for guys. Some girls like to do their makeup in wear yoga pants just so that guys can look at them and I'm totally okay with it. There's no slut shaming here. Be who you are and then everything will fall into place and you're going to find people that love you for you. I'm just really fed up with girls feeling like they're not good enough and girls not accepting their bodies and I know it's hard for some people to do that kind of thing 
just want people to realize that no one is worth changing yourself for. And these aren't sticking! And I just really want to make a really cool exit and sticky note my face, but it's not really happening because this video was really serious and I need to, to so you it. It's a really, really, called the double sticky note. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I'm sorry if it was too boring for you. I just wanted to get the point across that some girls just really needed to hear because this video just tore down a lot of girls. Please give me your feedback, uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to make more YouTube videos. This was supposed to be a really cool exit because I was supposed to be covered in sticky notes. And I don't know what I was going to do after that, but... <laughs> Thanks for watching and remember that I love you and the key is just to be yourself and let people accept you for the way you are. And if guys and girls don't like you for the way you are, <laughs> forget them. Tell them to hit the road. There must be more boys waiting in line. More girls waiting in line. Whatever. Peace. <laughs>